Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street School is coming with a quick video. Hate to say I told you so, but man, I, I told you so. Ryan Kerrigan has requested a trade, and I just want to talk about briefly why we won't end up trading them and what's going on with Haskins and Ryan Anderson as far as trades go. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get it. All right, so Ryan Kerrigan is, as y'all already know, the all-time sack leader for this franchise with 94. Played his entire 10-year career here, and he's in the final deal of his year at 32 years old. And he's actually having a good season. He has four sacks with the limited amount of snaps he's getting. He's technically been the most efficient pass rusher, kind of like the Matt Ioannidis effect. Bring him in off the bench, fresh, produces at a high rate with low opportunities. And like I've been saying in previous videos, Ryan Kerrigan may want to go to another team so that not only can he have a true impact, he can start, put up Pro Bowl level numbers and all of that type of stuff. I mean, have fun. Nobody wants to come off the bench. And then secondly, he may want to go somewhere where he can get a ring, even though I feel like maybe starting, if in my opinion, if I were Ryan Kerrigan, I would care more about starting and have a larger impact towards the tail end of my career than necessarily getting a ring just off of the fact that I know he loves the burgundy and gold. I know he's loyal. So I'm not entirely sure if getting a second ring is a strong motivation for him requesting a trade or maybe it's a sign that we look like we're tanking maybe Ryan Kerrigan has seen it and I don't know I mean again after that win against Dallas who knows what we're doing but Ryan Kerrigan clearly doesn't see anything great coming out of this season because if he did he'd want to stay here because he's already said how loyal he is to the burgundy and gold so if he wants to leave it's because he wants to have a larger role in the defense and or wants a chance at a ring before he reaches the true tail end of his career because at this point he's only on the slight decline even though he looks great this year but the Washington football team said they will not trade him and it's mostly because teams are not offering enough value for Ryan Kerrigan's services and the reason teams aren't offering us a high enough value is because a lot of teams reportedly are worried about Kerrigan's contract. I mean, it's the last year of the contract. It's worth a decent amount of money. And it's like, would you trade for him for this one-year rental? He may not even sign back with you. We may trade him away to, say, like the 49ers for a draft pick, and then he come back and sign with us in the offseason. So I guess they don't want to get finesse like that. I don't know. I mean, he literally only has eight games left in his contract. How much value would you be willing to trade for that? And at the same time, the Burgundy and Gold don't want to lose such an important locker room veteran presence for something cheap, like a sixth round pick or something crazy. So Ryan Kerrigan reportedly wants out, understandably. And at the same time, Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith don't want to trade him. Also understandable. And then as far as Haskins, it's reported that the Washington football team does not want to deal Haskins yet. So they haven't said that they don't want to deal him at all, but it looks like he will be here past the trade deadline. Just to let y'all know, may end up trading them draft day. Cause I mean, like I've said, the best time to trade people when you can get the most value for them is right before the trade deadline or during draft day when teams are desperate. Plus the main reason that not Dylan Haskins yet is that his trade value is so low. And like I've been telling y'all, it's not his play on the field. Cause if anything, he's looked better than Sam Donald on the field. Sam Donald's still going for at least a second round pick and you know why? Because they never benched them. The Jets never made it seem like they gave up on them. When we benched Haskins, that day that we benched Haskins and moved them to third stream was the day that we killed his trade value. They did it to themselves. Teams aren't going to trade for a guy that you have clearly shown that you have no use for. They'll just wait till his contract ends and get him off a of release or something. There's no reason for a team to give us a decent draft pick for Haskins when we've clearly shown that we don't even want him playing, which basically looks like he's damaged goods. I mean, we depreciated his value ourselves. Blame Ron Rivera and all of those decisions he made. Again, Haskins looks better than Sam Darnold so far in his career. The only reason Sam Darnold's going for a second and Haskins might not be going for anything higher than a sixth round pick is literally only because this franchise has appeared to give up on him and bench them. That's literally it. So blame Ron Rivera for messing up that trade value, similar to how Bruce Allen messed up the Trent Williams trade value. And then 
Ryan Anderson, defensive end, is likely to be gone by Tuesday, as reported. I mean, this makes sense. Teams were calling for him in the offseason. Teams are calling for him again. I'm not exactly sure what value we can get in return. Because, again, just like Ryan Kerrigan, he's coming off the bench. But he hasn't even been as efficient as Ryan Kerrigan. So I have no idea what we can get for the Alabama second round pick at this point. He looked really good towards the end of last season. But this season, he hasn't looked like much. And again, he's coming off the bench, so I have no idea. But it said it's likely that we will trade him before Tuesday's trade deadline. But yeah, man, get in them comments and let me know how y'all feel about everything. I'm about to live stream at 1 p.m., so make sure y'all pull up for that. Please like this video if you liked it, if you learned anything. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification every time I release a video like this, every time I schedule a live stream, every time I start up a live stream like I'm about to do at 1 p.m. Like, as of right now, it's 17 minutes away. I gotta hurry up and edit this video and get it out to y'all. And also, of course, big shouts out to everybody that supports the channel, everybody that donates, all of my sponsors, especially the Pro Bowl sponsors whose names you see scrolling on the screen right now. And I'll catch y'all at 1 p.m. I'm out. And I haven't forgot about y'all. I am working on a film session. I'll get one out sometime soon.